Eugene Victor Debs. Eugene Debs. What Eugene Debs means to me. When I think of Eugene Debs. Eugene V. Debs, of course, is known as a great American labor leader and socialist presidential candidate. I've been researching the lives and families of both Kate and Jean Debs. I wrote a book about the Pullman strike called The Edge of Anarchy. ¿Qué significa Eugenio Victor Debs para mí? Here's what prisoner 9653 says to me a hundred years on. Thousands of years ago, the question was asked, am I my brother's keeper? That question has never yet been answered in a way that is satisfactory to civilized society. I believe in the right of free speech, in war as well as in peace. I would not under any circumstances suppress free speech. I'm going to read one of my favorite quotes by him. The mission of the bicycle is greatly underrated. Human ingenuity in evolving the bicycle has given man a mighty boon, and when monopoly and special privilege are abolished, the bicycle may be purchased for a song and will be within the reach of all. Of all the qualities that we admire most in Eugene Debs, probably number one is his ability to empathize. For me, reading his life story inspired a hope that people can see injustice and change accordingly, and that they can form new opinions and rethink old ones. I think there's a lot we can still learn from Debs a uh, hundred years later about uh, class solidarity. Truly recognizing the humanity of every person on this earth and treating them with the same respect and dignity, no matter their station. Eugene Debs fought for the common person. He fought for a more just world, a more just society. He stood for decency. He stood for empathy and compassion. Leaving behind a legacy of equality and just, you know, making sure that everyone has a chance to, su to succeed. The characteristic that stands out of Eugene Debs is his humanity. In a couple short words, Debs mean, means equality to me. Equality for all. Esperanza. Esperanza de un mundo donde la justicia económica es posible. Donde atención médica gratuita para todos es posible. Donde se abolió la explotación laboral. Donde los recursos del mundo se distribuyen uniformemente. Donde la inmigración para sobrevivir es innecesaria. You know, Deb spent a lot of time in jail opposing World War I. Uh, and I think that's something we can still learn from. You know, a lot of people talk about sacrifice, but very few people undertake it. Eugene Debs is my hometown hero. We both hail from Terre Haute, Indiana. It was the inspiration for a 10-year career as a labor organizer on the CSX Railroad. And it's time that we get together and organize and fight for the workers' fair share of the pie. Most importantly this year is that no matter how many times the system tries to remove your voice, the only way to really change that system is to participate in it. Es mejor votar por lo que quiere y no obtenerlo que votar por lo que no quiere y conseguirlo. And we must make sure that we exercise our right to vote, but more importantly, we exercise our right to organize. And just as Joe Hill, Eugene Victor Debs, has not died. And seeing his legacy live on today and inspire people in the U.S. and around the world to do the same thing gives me hope for our future and beyond 2020. Solidarity forever from Portland, Oregon. Solidarity from Crestview, Florida. Solidarity from... Pelham, New Hampshire. Solidarity from Arkansas. Solidarity from Pittsburgh. Solidarity forever from Terre Haute. In solidarity from Atlanta. Yes, I am my brother's keeper. I'm under a moral obligation to him, inspired not by any maudlin sentimentality, but by the higher duty I owe to myself.